Hey there guys, this is NDM here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay, so in the last episode, we got the 99th gold skull to and now we're going to go back to the Temple of Time to trigger this last cutscene, I guess. Or one of the last cutscenes. God, you need to stop burping, like, silently in your videos, it's crazy. Uh, Jeez, what's up with that lag, man? That's crazy. <laughs> I've said crazy within the la within t the space of two seconds within each other. I've been waiting for you, Furno. Oh, really? Oh, it's you again? You've been waiting for me everywhere. You don't need to tell me, like, for the tenth time that you've been waiting for me. Furno, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six ages. And now you have a final challenge, a shadow a showdown with Ganondorf the e the King of Evil. Before that I have things I want to tell you to tell only to you, please listen. <laughs> Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikers. Oh story time. I love stories. Yeah. If you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the tri sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it, if an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce the sacred triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. And we have the courage one, Gandorf has power, and Zelda has wisdom. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will, will gain the true force to govern all. Govern all. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will be will separate into three parts, power, wisdom, and courage. Yeah. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing the force that one most believes in. Which would obviously be wisdom, I guess, because Zelda. If one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. At least I think it'd be Zelda, I don't know. Might be even Link. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by the destiny who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of e King of Thieves, oh now you have to go change up a notch, do you? you say King of Thieves, not King of Evil. Use the door you opened in this Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enables him enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf had started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. And we are obviously one of them. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Furno. And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the seventh sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. And this is one of the biggest what the fuck moments in gaming. Right here. Yep. All this time it was Princess Zelda following us, telling us what to do and stuff. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule Zelda. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. Yeah, it's a dream that I had about, wasn't it? I saw you as it, as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. Nice little black and white image we got here.
I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. <coughs> God. <coughs> as long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. Oh, you didn't have to. But if you did, well, never mind. <coughs> and now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king, will end. <coughs> oh, God. The Six Ages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the evil king, will vanish from Hyrule. Inferno, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses, the power given to the chosen ones. The sacred arrow of light. And this is the light arrows, the most powerful arrows in the game. But we're getting the ice arrows after we've got the most powerful arrows in the game, which is kind of funny. Really. There we go. Those are the light arrows. Oh yeah, baby. You got the light arrows set to sea, and your arrows will be powered up. The light of justice will s smite evil. Earthquakes? Eruptions? What's going on here? Uh, evacuate the building immediately before it crumbles to the earth. Without rumbling, it can't be. Princess Elder, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly under underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Was that supposed to be a joke? Because that wasn't funny. <laughs> um, right. So what we want to do now is just go get the last skull skull to the that's remaining in Zora's fountain. We're not going to be doing anything to do with Ganon's castle for a while, because we got some last stuff or last things we got to do before we actually go and take on Ganon's castle. And one of those things is getting the last remaining gold skulls that in the game. Uh, let's just equip our Deku shield, because I don't want to be equipping this. Friggin' highly in shield. Yeah, that looks a lot better on me. Right, I'll meet you guys back in the Zora's Fountain, so I'll see you all then, then. Holy crap. Isn't that, like, the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I gazed my eyes upon that thing, and I was like, I'm gonna get it, because it's my destiny. I have 99 gold skulls, and this baby's gonna be my hundredth. And I can hear Lord Jabu Jabu in the background. Oh, stop messing around, let's go get this thing. This is our last one right here, and we're gonna go and grab it. Ah, oh, missed it by like an inch. I didn't want to get my Deku sticks out either. So. There we go. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh my god. Uh, yes! Yes! We've freaking got all 100. Oh my god. Dude, that is like the most epicest thing ever. And it should be red. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
Oh, my mind is completely blown right now. I have a hundred. Dude! <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Well, I did say I was going to go to the... Goron... City, didn't I? So, um, I guess I'll see you guys in Goron City. Uh, yeah, I'll see you all then. Alright, so now we're in Goron City. What we have to do here to get the big bomb bag, or the biggest bomb bag in the game, is that we have to make this big Goron that is rolling around on this little circle, I guess you could say, is you have to bomb him out here, in this specific spot right here. Because look, it'll say this. If you can stop my what a crap! Not ah! Deku sticks, man. So now Deku sticks want to come out of my bag and not bombs. Oh yeah, that's just friggin' marvelous, <laughs> you know. Ah! Oh. Curse you, sign. Curse you to the. He curse you to the. Curse you to the sign of. The sign hell. If there is a sign hell, wherever dead signs go, yeah, go there. <laughs> um, it's not that tricky. It's just that I messed up by pulling out the Deku sticks. Right, this should do it. This should do it. There we go. Oh, that wasn't so hard, was it? Stupid Deku sticks. All right, I'll give you this in praise of your courage. And there we go. We got the biggest bomb bag. Now you can carry up to 40 bombs. Which is pretty g good, I'd say. At least we got 40 now, not 30. Okay, guys. So I guess I'll end off the video here. And I'll see you all in my next video. In the next episode, we will be taking on the Gerudo Training Ground. And I'll see you, and I'll see you guys all at the Gerudo Training Ground as an adult in the next video. So, yeah. Until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, and goodbye.